you're part-time agent, trying to get to the next level, you're unhappy because you're not full-time yet. But then once you get full-time, now you're a rental agent, now you're unhappy because you're not a sales agent yet. And then once you plant a sales agent, now you're not happy because you're not at the top of the heap of the sales agents. Let's see, as a full-time agent, what are some advice to go from great rental agent to successful buyers or sellers agents? I think, uh, I think don't really try to separate them. You know, we're, we're in this business as real estate agents just to help humans. You know, we're here to just to help humans. So don't try to separate sales and rentals. And I, I don't do rentals. I never did do rentals. Of course, I'm not in a, in a market where rentals are big. Like if I were in New York or LA or one of these big rental markets where there's actually real money to be made in the rental market, I might have started out as this huge rental you know, agent and then work my way up. You know, I'm not saying don't do rentals. I'm just saying don't separate it. Just grind. Don't worry about like trying to get to the, like a lot, a lot of people, like when you're part-time agent, trying to get to the next level, you're unhappy because you're not full-time yet. But then once you get full-time, now you're a rental agent. Now you're unhappy because you're not a sales agent yet. And then once you plant a sales agent, now you're not happy because you're not at the top of the heap of the sales agents. There's always another level. Stop being unhappy about where you are or want to get to the next level and just be patient and keep grinding through and just keep trying to help humans do what they're trying to do. If they want to rent, help them rent. If they want to buy, help them buy. You know, the rentals are going to turn into sales later. They may have referrals. They may, maybe they never sell. Maybe they rent forever. You can help them on the next rental and make some money there. Like, you know, just, but I think at the end of the day, to answer your question, you know, the 90 day action plan is a pretty serious spot for what you're saying. And I don't know if you're one of the ones that started and didn't finish it, but literally calling targeted property owners who own the type of property you want to sell is absolutely with hands down, you know, a million percent, the best thing that you could possibly do, the most effective, the cheapest, you know, the easiest. I mean, it, it, you, know, you can't, there's nothing better at all whatsoever. Nothing, nothing. So, I mean, just dive into that, start easing into that, calling property owners, learning how to communicate, working on your skill level, and just practice, 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 get better and better and better and better every day. And you'll turn around in three years and look back and say, oh my God, I'm the number one agent in wherever I am.